I have been asked to explain how I made my first million dollars. So I'm going to break this down very quickly into two discrete categories. There is how you make your first million dollars in terms of assets. And then there's how you make your first million dollars in terms of making a million dollars a year in income. These are not the same thing at all. The reality is that by the time a huge percentage of Americans hit their retirement age, 60, 65, given the fact that your housing values have probably risen, a lot of people actually have a million dollars in assets over the course of those decades. So if you're talking about how to make a million dollars in terms of your assets, the general answer there is buy houses and hold them or buy stocks and hold them. The big mistake that people make when it comes to investing in real estate or investing in stock is quick turnaround. The, the more you buy and sell and buy and sell and buy and sell, the more you are likely to make large scale mistakes and not pick up the upside of your stocks or of your real estate. In fact, the other day I was talking about stocks with my kids who are respectively 10 and seven. Yes, that's a thing that we do in my house. And they actually had earned some money from a business that they built making stickers that people put on their scooters to identify their scooters when they go to synagogue. They made a couple of hundred bucks off of it. They asked me what to do with it. I told them to buy stock. They then asked what that was. I explained it to them. So they actually got together and they bought one share of Apple stock. And I told them, just hold it for a really long time and you will be fine. I went on E-Trade and I realized that actually I had bought a little bit of stock back in my college days that I'd forgotten about. It was like a couple of shares of Walmart and a couple of shares of a gold ETF. I did great because I bought them and I left them there and I forgot about them. And then I came back years later and they're up like 700%. That's the reality of investing. If you invest in real estate or stocks, broadly speaking, and you hold on to it for a long period of time, good shot that you're going to end up with a solid asset base. Or if you just leave it in the bank, the power of compound interest, depending on the interest rates that you are achieving, that can also end up making you quite wealthy. Okay, so that's assets. But the real question that people are asking when they say how you made your first million is not how you got a million dollars in assets. It's how do you get to a million dollars a year in income? So I'm going to give you my trajectory on how this happened. So from the time I was 17 years old, I started working for myself. I was writing columns weekly and I made virtually no money, maybe a couple of thousand dollars a year off of that. But that did open the door to writing books and writing books meant that I could make 15 or $20,000 for a book like Brainwash or Porn Generation, my first couple of books. So I go to law school, I take out loans to go to law school. And when I get out of law school, the base salary getting out of law school is about 180 for an associate. If I'd stayed on that trajectory, then I would have made a million dollars a year eventually, become a partner at a law firm, and after five, 10 years, you're gonna end up making a million dollars a year because you're charging very high hourly fees. But that wasn't something that I wanted to do. And what I realized very quickly is that the sweet spot in terms of money making for me was going to be to find the combination of things I like to do, things that I am good at, and things people are willing to pay me for. Most people, get two out of the three. That will not take you to a million dollars a year in income. So you have to have all three of those elements. So I had just gotten engaged with my wife. We had put a down payment on a condo in Los Angeles and I was miserable at this law firm. And so I went to my then fiance, now wife, and I said, I am miserable at this law firm. And she could see I was miserable. I was like losing weight. I was so upset about being at this law firm. And she said, why don't you quit? I said, well, we have bills to pay. She said, you should quit anyway, because I have faith that you'll be able to make enough money to pay our bills. And worse comes to worse, we sell the condo, we lose a little bit of money, we'll live. So I quit my job making 180, and I proceeded to take a job making $60,000 a year, one third the pay, at Talk Radio Network. But the deal that I made with the owner of the company is that I would spend half of my time learning the production side of the radio business, because what I really wanted to do was get a radio show. I really believe that until you find the business, having multiple streams of revenue is a very good idea. It's sort of diversification of your revenue sources. So I start working at Talk Radio Network, and I'm basically working a couple of jobs at once. I have my primary job. I'm also writing my column weekly, and I'm writing books and speeches. And so I'm cobbling together maybe $100,000 a year, $110,000 a year from all of these various sources of revenue. About a couple of years in, one of the hosts at Talk Radio Network had a book contract and didn't know how to write a book. I'd written several of my own at this point. And so the host came to me and said, would you help me write this book? And so I got started in the ghostwriting business. So I now have multiple sources of revenue. I have the, the ghostwriting. I have my normal job. I have the syndicated column. I have my speaking engagements. In 2011, I decided that I, I really am not happy at Talk Radio Network. And I'm looking at some of my other opportunities. And I decide that I'm making enough of a side income that I can afford to leave aside my primary income at Talk Radio Network and try to find something else. And I end up talking with my friend, Andrew Breitbart. And Andrew says, listen, I need somebody to come help me out over at Breitbart.com. We're about to flip what were a bunch of separate websites. We're going to flip that into Breitbart.com. 
So he gives me the title editor at large. And then in 2013, I get a call from Phil Boyce, who was the programming director of Salem Communications, which owned a station in L.A. called Care LA. And he said, we have a host on the air in L.A. and she needs somebody else on the air with her. She needs a sidekick. And then also in 2013, I'm hired by David Horowitz at the David Horowitz Freedom Center to run a website called Truth Revolt, which is essentially reverse media matters. So I'm now working a wide variety of jobs. I'm doing two radio shows. I'm the editor-in-chief of Truth Revolt and the editor-at-large of Breitbart. I'm ghostwriting. I'm writing my own books and I'm speaking. This was my day in, in 2013, 2014. At this time, I'd say that my income has now risen between all of these various jobs to over $400,000 a year is probably right. In 2015, there is a series of events that leads to Jeremy being let go at the David Horowitz Freedom Center and me quitting in solidarity. Jeremy and I both bought houses right then. And so we go in search of angel investment for an idea we have that we would later call Daily Wire. I believe the first year where I made a million dollars in terms of like yearly income was probably 2016. There's more on this in a moment. First, let's be real. French fries are the only good veggie out there, but unfortunately, they're not really a healthy vegetable. Balance of nature, fruits and veggies. That's the most convenient way to make sure you're getting your daily intake of fruits and vegetables. Balance of nature uses an advanced cold vacuum process that encapsulates fruits and veggies into whole food supplements without sacrificing those natural antioxidants. The capsules are completely void of additives, fillers, extracts, synthetics, pesticides, or added sugar. The only thing in balance of nature's fruit and veggie capsules are fruits and veggies. You need nutrients to function at your best each and every day. Balance of Nature helps you do exactly that. I used to get sick a lot from traveling. Well, now I've started taking Balance of Nature. I feel a lot healthier every time I hit the ground. Go to balanceofnature.com. Use promo code Shapiro to get 35% off your first set of fruits and veggies, plus an additional 10 bucks off every additional set that you buy. That's balanceofnature.com. Promo code Shapiro. My whole staff's been using Balance of Nature. It's great stuff. Go check them out right now. Balanceofnature.com. Promo code Shapiro to get 35% off. Here's the moral of this story. Nobody starts off making a million dollars a year in income. I was cobbling together a wide variety of incomes until I could find the thing that was really going to succeed and pour all my efforts and centralize all my efforts in that thing, right? All the radio work that I had done ended up becoming the Ben Shapiro show. All of my writing efforts, which had been centralized on other people, those just ended up being my books. All of a sudden, all the income is coming from one place because it all gets centralized in one place. But the thing that everybody forgets about stories like this are the times, and I joke about this with my wife, where I would have a new book out. And if I sold five books out of the trunk of my car at 25 bucks a pop, I was a happy camper. That meant that we were going to have groceries that were pretty good that week. There's two sets of advice when it comes to income strategies. One is the set of advice before you've started. You're 17 years old. How do you get to a million dollars a year? And the answer there is both professional and also personal. You need to make a bunch of good decisions about your personal life in order to get to a million dollars a year. That would mean, for example, get married, find a person to settle down with. Think about when you want to have kids. Be very deliberate in your planning. If you are going to have kids, make sure that you live near a support structure so if you have to work those extra hours, there's somebody to help out. You actually have to make deliberate life decisions and that will help you in terms of your income. And then there's the other question, which is, okay, I've made a bunch of mistakes or I haven't actually followed that path. How do I get to a million dollars a year now? And the answer is you got to work with the time you got. The rules of the market don't change just because you have a bunch of extra weight on your back. It just means you have to find ways to shift the weight around such that you can actually achieve that goal. That's going to take some sacrifices. It's going to mean doing certain things you don't want to do and not being able to do other things that you do want to do. You may have to search for a while. You may have to take on multiple jobs. You may have to work crazy hours. You may have to do a lot of work for free. Find that thing, the thing that allows you to do the thing you like, the thing you're really good at, and the thing people want from you, and you'll make a million dollars a year. 